conversation in just a moment, but let's bring you uh, more updates from our coverage of the Edo election. Um, about 200 police officers have been detailed as part of a rapid response and are um, already available to be deployed to wherever their attention is needed. The Deputy Inspector General of Police, Frank Kumba, reassured that the logistics and welfare of the officers in the rapid response deployment has been taken care of. So far, so good. We've seen a large turnout in a lot of the places we've gone to. Uh, we've seen very large turnout in others. And there have been some places where the turnout were quite low. But for us, our major concern is around the security of the elections. And we are, I am so far encouraged and impressed by what we have seen. Um, areas where we received minor complaints, we've risen up to the challenge and we've been able to fix those ones. We're still out continuing on our monitoring. We are cautiously optimistic that um, all we end well that have begun well. Right, the IG Frank Oba speaking there in a do state about security arrangement. I want to get to security arrangement in just a moment because that's very important. Um, extra 200 police officers <coughs> being deployed. But I want to quickly ask you about that because he, Mr. Wambo, mentioned um, issues around Did determination. You say 200? Extra 200 yeah, waiting to be deployed, okay. you know, not the previous <coughs> deployment. Now, let's talk about the consciousness. And the determination that has not been mentioned. Uh, Philip Shaibu used the word consciousness. Uh, Gabriel Luwambo used the word um, determination of voters. Is that what you also perceive is going on now, you know, in and those data? And where is that coming from? Well, I think that um, we have three major groups, you know, right now, like I say, equally matched. There are those who want to maintain the status quo by all means necessary, and there are those who desire a change by every means necessary, and then others who want to just, you know, um, change what is on ground. Now, it doesn't matter, and every one of them is fully persuaded in his own mind, in their mind, you know. So um, that, that's why you find full turnout. It doesn't matter what the situation is. People are determined. The level of uh, campaign, the, you know, the awareness has been created, has been very, very strong because... Like I said, you have very, three very strong candidates. None of them is planning to lose at all. They have gone to the hinterlands. They have traversed the whole of Edo State, done campaigns, done door-to-door -door and all that. And their people on ground are also determined to make sure that their principals win. Um, that's the level of heightened voter awareness that has come upon Edo State. And that's why you see what you see. People are determined and they really, really, really want to put their candidates, let me put it that way, you know, in there. Um, a lot of, you know, one would say in previous elections, not just this, but across, that, oh, they, will, they have already determined who the winners are. They will put who they want to put there. But this time around, it's not the case. People want to go there and actually make sure. Is that, that consciousness just about a dose state, or is that something that has been beaten, beaten up over time? The idea of um, saying they have already... No, 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 this consciousness and determination we're talking about now, is it just about this state or it's been beating over time? Well, uh, this particular state, is, this one is very, very important because of... I don't want to use a militant word like combatant, but the parties concerned, mm -hmm. you know, uh, they're all determined and they've done, they've done very well in their campaigns. You know, there are various issues at stake for everyone. You know, there are those who want what is going on to continue. There are those who are saying, no, never. It should not. And then some who just say, look, um, away with you two. We just, we want something different, a breath of fresh air. So and each group is determined. So Edo is peculiar. I hope the same thing happens across the country. You know, uh, we have other elections coming up. Undo is close by. So when that time comes, we'll have to see whether the pattern is the same. I don't know if there's that heightened awareness as well. The build-up to Edo has been something else, mm -hmm. as you would agree. Yes. Everybody in Nigeria is aware about the candidates. Uh, whether you're from the state or not, you have your preferred candidate, mm -hmm. you know, because they have been everywhere. They're in your face. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, you know? and, and you find people, you're, you're right, you find people also picking sites. Even they're picking though they, sites. They even though they're not, in this exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. But then if you look at, um, you know, days before the election, the months, uh, several, several months before the election, uh, we, we, have, um, pe we have these politicians who have been you know, threatening fire and brimstone, uh, stone, even the incumbent governor making some utterances where it was criticized and all of yeah. that. But it appeared to be a battle of, you know, uh, it's, it's act people are not actually bringing, you know, debates to the table, a battle of issues, this is what I'm going to do as uh, a candidate and all of that. Rather, it has always been a battle of, not wits, but battle of fists. Personality. And personality. Do, yeah. do you feel that, you know, with this, the outcome of this election might be influenced by some of those, you know, rhetorics at the end of the day? Uh, no, at the end of the day, people are picking sides for different reasons. Uh, please forgive me for using this term here. Uh, you know, Miloko was made popular. The Ishan says it's their turn. For instance, actually, and they have two candidates. Fact, everyone you says it's their turn in yeah. different languages. So, so there are those who will vote for that, but they have two candidates. You understand what I'm saying? So, and you also have people who want that continuity, and so they will be going towards one candidate, and then those who want change. There are people who are coming there. I mean, you find people from one party voting for another party. Why? Because they have a, an axe to grind. Mm -hmm. It's very peculiar. This is a very peculiar uh, election. There has been no election quite like this before, you know. And even at the federal level, it's not quite like that. You find people who are from within a party ganging up to vote against their party. So it's not about ideology in that case. It's more like, and I repeat it, what will determine this election is the enemy of my enemy is my friend, and the friend of my enemy is my enemy. enemy. To a very large extent, it will determine the output of this. So it's not so much about, uh, what do you call it now, uh, ideology. Issues. It's not so much about the issues. It's about where do you stand, you know, on, on this. And, okay, so I don't like your face. It doesn't matter if you're the best person. It doesn't matter if we're in the same party. Uh, I have an axe to grind with you. There's that, you know. And It's like a vendetta. Yeah, something like that. So at the end of the day, I don't know if... Edo people will get what is best for them or what, you know, so it depends on who has, who has a greater crowd, you know. So these are some of the factors that will come to play. And so at the end of the day, at the end of the day, what you might just find is a situation where whoever has the greatest influencers on their side, if you have people who can influence numbers, then that's where it's going to sweep because people have, they already have supporters. And they will say to them, this is where we should go. And they will lead them. And those are not necessarily like that. But in this particular case, uh, people are really taking sides for so many reasons. You know, and, and that side is going to And for reasons that you've mentioned, let's bring in, uh, Mr. Wambo back into the conversation. Do you agree um, with Mr. Victor High on the, on the issues that would um, impact this election or the outcome of the election? You know, look, it's really not issue-based. It's not